Welcome to the One Six Scale Man proudly presents Take Your Position. It's your boy LR bringing you the best in One Six Scale collectibles and anything and everything pop culture. And as you know, what we do here is pose. <laughs> I leave all the reviews to pretty much everybody else. I just try to stick to posing. And we have this magnificent beast of a figure finally in. Yes, it is the MMS. 59016 scale collectible figure Venom. And this is the Venom figure from the original film. Uh, a movie masterpiece. You have the Hot Toys logo down at the bottom. This is an amazing box. I love the box art that we actually have here. Nice little glossy display. Venom himself on the front. I mean, come on, man. Presentation is always with Hot Toys. They do it up. This is a slip cover. So basically, you take this off the box. And then you have the rest of the presentation there. Again, you see a nice little silhouette of Venom. You know, a couple of different pieces you actually have there. If you turn the box around here, it extends to the back. You actually have Venom, Eddie Brock, um, half face version, uh, which everybody already knows that we're getting a second version of this particular figure with the Eddie Brock head sculpt. So stay tuned for that. And if you already actually have that Carnage figure, figure on order, you're going to get the head sculpt with that. So trust me, um, you won't be disappointed. This piece right here, again, is something that's caught a lot of people by surprise. Me, me myself as well. I can't, I can't actually just leave myself out of that. Um, and yes, after I saw it, I was like, you know what? I got to have it. This piece, of course, you see here, it's a nice little slip cover. This is where the figure would have actually been. This is where the accessories would have been, but I took all of that out. You know why, you already know. We got the figure right back there in all his glory. And yes, we have none other than Venom himself. Man, look, uh, again, I wanted this figure. Um, it took me some time to get it, but I'm so glad I got it. Um, and yes, we're going to get this big boy posed up. As you can see, I have all the accessories already displayed out here. So you can actually see it. Everything here from the appendages on his back, his weaponry, his head sculpt, uh, the secondary head sculpt that we actually get with this figure. Again, uh, just wanted to have these pieces out here. Uh, a couple of the actual tongues, his head sculpt there. Man, we're going to go all in and see what we can, you know, come up with, get some nice poses. Uh, with this thing he is a beast uh, his stature he stands pretty tall um, so you know granted if you already have them then you know what I'm talking about if you don't just be prepared but without further ado let's dive in now as you can see Venom is a beast of a figure I mean, stature, extremely tall, but he's also menacing as well. So again, we always want to go with the standard character pose in the very beginning. So I just went with something just a bit basic for those who don't really want to pose their figures too much or go into any like intensive dynamic posing. You can just do something standard. Again, leg hock to the side here. This is basically the uh, a power pose, uh, so to speak. Uh, so most of his weight is going to rely on this leg here. This leg is cocked out, arm out. Um, I swapped out the hand for the, you know, claw grabbing hand, kept the fist here. Did swap out the actual original head sculpt with this one, uh, with the tongue in his mouth. And yes, we wanted to go for something like this. This is just like a regular look here. And again, I like to go with a bit of, you know, we want to play on angles. This is what all I, all I like to do is just play with the angles a tad bit. So as you can see, we have him in all his menacing glory. But again, it's nothing too outlandish. It's just your basic pose. So it's nothing that's going to, you know, again, I know it's all about and everyone's all about the integrity. So this is what we want to keep it with. So again, you see that um, it's just your basic pose. Um, as if he's basically reaching out to kind of grab um the enemy um and devour his enemy as venom does so again just keeping to just a traditional standard uh museum pose i'm actually do a couple of these it's not i don't like i said not museum poles but more of a uh, uh, character pose so we're going to actually play around with a couple of these just to give you a different look 
different way to basically bring some presence to your display. And we are back. So again, just wanted to kind of play around with a couple of different things. And this could be, you know, you could deem this a character pose with uh, more of a slightly dynamic twist. I added his appendages. You gotta play around with him, futz around with him to get him the way you want. Uh, but these things are glorious. Uh, this figure is amazing um, so far. And I'm having some fun playing around with it uh, just to get some poses, just try to figure out how I can actually do certain things. This again would just be more so deemed as a character pose. Um, not out of the realm of what we know Venom is basically capable of and what he pulls off. So again, just kind of wanted to play around with a couple of different things, but just give you a more in-depth character pose for this figure. Um, and just give you like a bonkers, bonkers look at, you know, just the features, how articulated this figure is, but just how menacing and scary he looks. Like, look at that. Like, literally. Um, it is no question that if you have a detail, if you can actually fit this in there. Again, we got one of the appendages here. I do love that. The other one there. Um, at first, I didn't think I was gonna like them, but I love them. So far, I love everything about it. But again, just something just to kind of give you on scale what this figure is gonna look like. Once you get him outside the box, once you get him posed up in more of a character pose, uh, again, this is Venom, all his glory. Can't take that away from him. But yeah, like I said, another uh, character pose with a bit of uh, a dynamic twist. So let's go. And we are back. And this is a bit more play on dynamics. Now, as you can see, I have that hulking blade that you actually see him with on his right arm that he can produce at will. Um, still with the appendages on, but we have like a more menacing. Now, I love this. Um, now, this, again, is character slash dynamic, but I want to say it's more of a dynamic pose. This right here is comic book central. I love this pose. Like this one right here, I can see myself putting this in the detox just this way. Um, I love what I'm getting from it. I love the feel of it. Hand outreached here. Uh, that uh, blade that he has on his arm there. Now you can see basically now, you can't pull these off without the help of the stand. So I'm so glad that they gave us that invisible stand in the back, but still we can have the grab room front. It gives him a bit of stability. Man, I'm having some fun. I'm having so much fun with this. Again, just ideas, arms stretched out. He has his claws ready uh, in that blade. Look at that. Look at that. And again, for, from a, a photography standpoint, you want to play on angles. Look. Look how good that would look. Just something like that. If you had it at this angle and you just took the picture, look how amazing that would look. I mean, that's incredible. Under the, the right lighting, I mean, Venom just pops and he would definitely pop in your detail. Sorry, I don't really like it, especially because I'm looking at it from the vantage point, a certain vantage points from a photography standpoint and how you want it displayed. And if you take photos, you want to see how it's going to look. And I'm telling you, this boy, this bad boy right here does not disappoint. Look at that. Look at that. I'm definitely happy with that. Uh, yes, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. I just, I just love everything about it, man. Like, let's go. Let's get it going. Let's do some more. Let's play around a little bit more. But again, this is uh, one of the poses that I came up with. We'll try some more. Let's go. And we're back. So this is where we want to kind of play around with it and get a tad bit more dynamic. As you can see, um, I have the Iron Spider-Man. It's armored Iron Man, Spider-Man himself. Um, <laughs> Iron Man, Spider-Man. It's the Iron Spider himself. Actually, this is, if you're familiar with the comics, this is more so the Scarlet Spider. 
um, the first rendition that we actually got. And this was the suit that was given to Peter by Tony once he revealed himself. Um, again, it, 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 listen, when I tell you I'm having fun, I'm having a lot of fun. And I just wanted to kind of play with dynamics when it came to this. Having him kind of mashed up and mixed up with uh, Venom. Uh, we're talking about warfare, appendages against appendages. Um, I just wanted to see if it would actually work, but it was a bit of a trick. But man, I'm loving this. I'm loving the angles. Um, I'm loving just the dynamics of the figure and how many different figures you can actually pose this guy up against. Man, look, um, I'm having a ball. This piece right here is phenomenal. Um, again, uh, the stands that I'm using right now, of course, are different more dynamic um these are dynamic stands that i actually got off of amazon you could probably find them there they're kind of sold out right now but I, I believe they'll have them back in stock so i'm using it for both venom and uh this um rendition that i have probably one of my favorite figures um in my collection right now is the iron spider armor uh especially because it's more true to the comics uh with the three uh appendages on his back um, so that is accurate. It is comic accurate, but man, I love this piece. Um, I love what I'm able to do with Venom and his interaction with the spider armor. Scarlet spider it is. Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so happy with this man. And Venom, I mean, literally, there's so much you can do with this figure. So many different things, so many different angles you can play around with. I just thought I would have a fun with this, uh, have some fun with this one. Again, power pose, more dynamic. The appendages speak for themselves. He still has that blade attached. Come on, man. This is Venom. You know what time it is. Look at that. Look at that angle right there. Man, that looks incredible. That's like a comic book, isn't that? That's a comic book. Man, let's go. On to the last pose. <laughs> for the grand finale you know i had to actually bring in the classic suit now this isn't the classic uh suit that we're getting from hot toys that one i don't know when that's going to arrive it could be any day now it could be sometime in a few months but this is probably the closest rendition this is the iron spider armor um this is actually the um Spider-Man um, armor Mark V. So this is the actual Mark V armor, but I wanted to kind of play with this, uh, you know, again, give some realization, struggle between Peter and Venom himself, even though, you know, Venom is sort of like a, he calls himself the lethal protector. They still hate each other. You know what I mean? That's just basically the way it is. There is still actual hate between Spider-Man and Venom. Again, this is just to play on angles uh more dynamic you see venom on the attack um again i enjoy this figure like literally if you have a chance to get your hands on this figure you will not be disappointed um i know i'm not um just the sheer you know it's so toyetic but at the same time it's just yo i mean anything you can imagine that you would want to do with this figure you can um, he fits well up against any of the Spider-Man villains that we, I mean, the Spider-Man characters that we actually have, even up against the villains. Um, this thing is amazing. I adore this piece. It, it's, it's simply, look at that. Look at that. I mean, for all you photographers, if you want to actually get some good photos off of this, man, this is the perfect figure to have in your collection to do it. Um, I'm so super impressed. I told you knocked it out the park again and again and again i love this figure man like literally um i can't get enough i literally can't get enough i'm so excited to have it in my collection if you haven't get it while you can i will put the link at the bottom of the video where i got it i actually got mine from underground toys my man ray he happened to actually scoop one up for me he never disappoints. I will put the link in the bottom of this video where you can actually get it from. And we, if you want to go to his site and browse other figures that he has, you definitely can do that. But man, like, look, I'm impressed. 10 out of 10 for me when it comes to this rhythm figure. I cannot wait for Carnage. Um, yes, um, I'm, I'm excited, man. 
again, I hope you like this video. I hope you like all the videos that I actually put up with uh, these posing tutorials and just showing you how you can pose up certain figures and pull off certain dynamic poses as well as some character poses to have in your display. Um, hope you like this. Again, it's LR for the one six scale man probably presents take your position. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and share and as always prepare for my next adventure. As always, peace and love. And man, come on, stretch the imagination. As always, take your position. We are out. Mm -hmm.